Welcome to Pulse of Cyber Command, and here is where you take command of your cyber life. I'm Terrence, and thank you to all returning viewers and new. We have a special episode today. Do you know why? Because Cas Plus is on the menu. I'm going to give you the unique tips and tricks that you need to pass the Cas Plus. Let's get right into it. If you're no stranger to my past videos or CompT exams, you know these are not cakewalks. Anyone who says they are either are a prodigy or just plain unrealistic for newcomers into cybersecurity. Here I like to keep things honest and strive to help you all learn the topics you read about and strategies for success that you can continue to use. Number one, download a virtual machine. I don't care if it's VirtualBox, Hyper-V, or VMware. Just get one with a downloaded Linux distribution ISO image. I recommend using Ubuntu, Kali, Debian, or Zorin if you have never jumped into a Linux shell or command line interface before. I tell you this because there will be a virtual machine on the exam and you will have to perform security tasks. Now I will not say what I did because CompTIA would stomp my channel like a boot to an ant. Practice PBQs, CompTIA, and Udemy all have courses that include practice, performance-based questions that will prepare you for the exam. CompTIA CAS Plus Study Guide. These guides have helped me in tandem with other resources to pass previous CompTIA exams. These are not expensive, 30 to $45, depending on the day and sale, covers all domains and includes practice questions. I'll leave links down below in the description. Number four. Cybercraft YouTube channel does not get the shine it deserves. So shout out to him and the Cybercraft brand for providing practice questions, exercises, PBQs, and quality explanations for answers on CompT exams. Go check him out. Links down below for Cybercraft content creator. Number five, get a Linux pocketbook as I have here. Or you can navigate over to geeksongeeks.com, which has a slew of Linux terminology, commands, and examples of critical Linux processes that can prepare you to take this exam. This exam took every minute for me to do because I had four PBQs and a virtual machine. And you must do the virtual machine when it comes up. You cannot go back. So once it's there, do it. The rest of the exam is reviewable later. Don't spend more than 1.5 minutes on a question. Take deep breaths before you begin and focus on what you have learned using the process of elimination. If you don't know the answer, move on. Mark it for review at the end of the exam and try it then. As of today, this video, the exam is 509 US dollars. Honestly, now is the time to get it before inflation hits higher prices even more so buy it then schedule it if you honestly believe you are ready to take it i trust if you made it this far you are ready to take this exam and trust me you use my tips and tricks you have already passed thanks for dropping by keep your finger on the pulse of cyber and i'll see you next time